Hi guys, um, this is the Dandy Domination, also known as the New Blood Dan. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, so I decided to make a video today and show you what I am currently working on. It's another mask, but it's not, as you can tell, it's not a Jason mask. It's a, um, conceptual Spider-Man mask, and, um, this is one eye eyepiece I kind of made um, for this mask. Um, basically, what I did was I cut, um, you know, those airsoft goggles. Well, I cut it in half, sanded off the black on the front, and used epoxy sculpt to fill in the holes. But I kept these because I don't know, I, I like the detail. But as you can tell, I put epoxy sculpt here and some on the back, and get that nice curve. Yeah. Same with the other eyepiece. These I um, took pairs. I used a screwdriver, mini screwdriver, um, to take off the lenses on this pair of sunglasses and put epoxy sculpt around it to kind of make the frames. Um, the frames aren't that good, but once I sand it down, it might look better. Um, I'll just put that right here. So, and this is hand sewn, and <laughs> it is a pain in the neck to um, hand sew this. You have no idea how many hours to put into sewing this, I'm not using a sewing machine at all. Um, and even then, it kind of looks, kind of see the white stitching here and there, but you know, I don't, I tend not to use a sewing machine because um, if, you know something happens with it and stuff you know I I just I get apprehensive about it because you know, I've heard so many times that threads get stuck in there and all that jazz but with hand sewing you be um, more precise at least in my opinion so I don't know what eyepiece I'm kinda leaning towards more this one of eyepieces, um, mainly because realistically, at least in my opinion, if someone was, you know, being a superhero or whatever, um, you know, you gotta need eye protection, and if one of these gets severely scratched, like, during a fight or whatever, it's gonna cut down on visibility, plus their sunglasses. But these, um, you know, they're, they're like a metal mesh, and if they get scratched, it's not going to cut down invisibility, you know? It's not going to scratch up. Well, it doesn't matter if it gets scratched up, because it will see just as well through them as you would if they weren't, you know, scratched. So I took that in consideration, you know, make it more realistic. Because if you going around wearing, like, um, sunglasses or even the lenses and the Sam Raimi films, if those get scratched, it could reduce visibility through those lenses dr possibly dramatically so um but yeah I'm almost done sewing the basic headpiece of the mask then I'll work towards the neck and then I'll be done with the mask I'm kinda going for the um comic book wise um you can look it up I know there's different versions of Spider-Man's costume of course you know one of the funniest ones being Bagman but um the one I liked is when, like, um, he basically Spider-Man makes, like, a makeshift costume of, like, a Scarlet Spider in the symbiote, um, symbiote-like costume. Obviously, the fabric version of the black costume, not the actual alien, of course. And, like, I've seen an image where, like, um, he's wearing a black, when Peter's, like, wearing a black mask. And like has the web shooters on in like a leather brown coat. And you know, I think that was a pretty cool look. And you know, I decided, you know, I'm probably gonna base um, uh, that idea on that, but give it like a movie, re like reality type feel to it, you know? Especially with the eyes. Because I don't know, they kind of look spider like. And you can see them, like, it only cuts like. Well, I may, it's like, um, 
when you look through these, it's like, you know, if you, if you wore airsoft goggles, you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, it's like looking through one of these, but this gives you more visibility than this. Like, it doesn't make it so dark. It does make it darker when you see through these, but it's not as much as, you know, typical sunglasses. So, I, I like that. And plus, realistically, these are more protect, well, more protective to the point where if this gets, like, you know, hit by a bullet or whatever, you know, you're not going to be able to see through the lens. Your eye, your eye will probably be protected, but you won't be able to see, th like, through it as well. But with these, it's kind of, you know, it's my concept. <laughs> I know a lot of people probably will say in the comments that these are probably more safer, but I don't know. I just I like these a little bit more, not in terms of shape, because sh shape wise I like these, but in terms of like shine and look, I like these, like the metal grid to it, like the metal mesh. But um, so that's basically my concept idea. Um. Um, I've made, it took me a while to make this because at first I started to do it freehand without using some sort of marker to mark where I was doing. And, well, it came out pretty well to a certain point and then it ended up being a disaster. And I used up, like, wasted a whole thing of, like, spandex. So I had to buy more and I used a white, um, Sharpie paint marker. And kind of like drew, like kind of drew lines like, like these, and it helped me a lot more. <laughs> it saved me a lot of headaches and stuff. But yeah, um, so um, tell me what you think, guys. And one last thing, if I don't use these for this, I'll probably work on another one, another Spider-Man mask. It won't be black, but it'll be another cool idea, like. Um, when I see these, I get like that, you know that Alex Ross Spider-Man? Well, when I look at these, I, in my mind, I think these would be perfect for an Alex Ross costume. You know? So if I ever work in an Alex Ross Spider-Man mask, I'll probably use these lenses because the, the if you, <laughs> if you've seen pictures of Alex Ross Spider-Man, the eyes are like black. So, these would be perfect. So, um, so, yeah, um, I'm gonna add a chin piece to this, because the way I'm measuring, like, the templates I use is very specific, so I don't get that top of the head bulge, like, I hate that, and looking up pictures online for the Amazing Spider-Man mask templates are, well, they're pricey, and, well, they're not pricey, but they cost money, and I don't want to spend money on templates, you know? So I created my own based upon, you know, dimensions of my head and, you know, fudging it a little bit, so. Um, yeah, so. Need to fix a few things on this, and then I'll add the neck piece, and then I'll put the eyes on, you know, cut the holes, and then I'll be done. So, tell me what you guys think, and, um, hopefully I'll make more videos soon, and catch you guys later. Peace.